What is up guys, Carl here. Today we're having a look at a PCV valve and T-fitting replacement from O34 Motorsports. It's a uh, replacement for these two parts which usually usually fails. This is the actual PCV valve. And this will work for uh, most of the around 2000 to 2000 and I would say six models from uh, Volkswagen and Audi. So as you can see, this is the logo. It's O34, I'm not sure if they want to call themselves O34, but O34 Motorsport. It's a uh, US based company and they create replacement parts. For example, this is a uh, silicone T fitting to replace this OEM part. Not sure if we can get the part number. And as you can see, this is the broken PCV valve. So you can see the membrane and there is just loose and won't do any good, it's always open. So I got this CNC aluminium replacement with a lot better construction for the spring and solution in there. And if you don't know how the PVC valve works or where it is, I will pop up in the hood. Let's see if we can find out where it is. So this is for a Audi A4 B6 from 2003, so I've taken off the cap and I've also loosened the, the cooler reservoir here. So this complete solution comes with the, the hose from your, um, your body, what do you want to call it, the, the actual case, and uh, you also have your PRV valve up there on the rocker cover, goes down, can we get some light in here, goes down, see that clamp, metal pipe, and comes down, Let's see if we can get a view of the opening, where the heck is it, here it is, the opening into your, I oh, you can't really see it, there it is, your opening into your, your, um, you crank. So uh, to replace it, you have to loosen, loosen your uh, your factory fittings from this. As you can see, this one is cracked all over. I just done a temporary fix. I'm gonna replace it with a another O34 Motorsports solution. I'll have another video for that. As you can see, this is just shattered. I actually super glued this and uh, the seal just to keep it in and I'll replace it in the coming days. So that one fits in there and then up to your your T-fitting there. So instead of having these ones which usually crack uh, on my previous Passat it was cracked all over so I had to get a new replacement. In Sweden this part cost around I think 20 euros and um, the PCV valve, this one in plastic, which is just gonna break again. As a reminder, this one hasn't been replaced since the car was made in uh, 2003. So it's been holding up, but it's given me a rough idle, and as you can see, it's not doing anything. And um, this part is about 35 euros, I would say. And from, and this one cost me 30 dollars which is that it's around the same in euros, so 30 dollars, 30 euros instead of giving giving uh, Audi this crappy solution for even more money. So um, just a quick and dirty uh, look at the replacement parts as you can see looks really nice CNC aluminium with their logo of course not gonna see this logo when it's installed it's gonna be hoses everywhere and let's see, can we get some light for you to actually see where it fits? Hopefully. And as I said, I'm gonna have a better video. No, you're not gonna see anything in there. But it connects to this vacuum hose, which is connected this way into of course you can't see anything because it's so dark and dirty. You can see that little 
coupling end and uh, which is below this hose it goes to a lot of valves up there this is your throttle bot right there so to your intake manifold this one hooks up and then onto the top of your PCV valve so stay tuned and I will have a, another video where we look at the, the actual fitting to replace this which I will be using AN fittings as well and it's in aluminium so it's gonna hold for a nuclear war or whatever and uh, we'll have a look of course with better lighting on how to install these parts so thank you for checking out this uh, 034 motorsport solution to replace the PCV valve on your Audi or Volkswagen with a 1.8 liter turbo engine and I will see you next time